So we're uh, about to get into vocals, and um, I think it's worth talking a little bit about uh, you working with Johnny Craig, because he is a great, great vocalist, and from what you said, this was your first uh, time ever working with him. Yep, so this was Johnny and I's first date, and um, I think we spent two days on this song. One, one was like writing and drum tracking and this, and then the rest was, uh, was our little special time to, to track together, and... The, the cool part about this was he, he recorded these vocals in 15 minutes. He was ready to go. We went over lyrics the first day. You know, I think he was nervous because we'd never worked together. And it's always like the first, the first time there's always some, there's nerves because you never really know what someone's like. It's it, like the, the, the voice instrument is such a sensitive thing. And so if you don't really know what you're getting into, it can be very nerve wracking. I've worked with people for years who still feel nervous singing in front of me, and so it's um, it's just something that you have to to go on a case by case basis. But um, on the on the mix front, it's obviously different, but but it's just such a great vocal performance. I really feel like it's one of my favorites of anything I've ever done, and the song was really important because it had to do with people go through certain things in their life and they really feel like they run out of chances, and this song was like. You know, I know you think I'm gonna let you down, but the point is like, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere and so don't count me out. And so I liked the message behind it and I think it really connected with other people and it's just like a, a whole message. And so I really wanted to convey that message and also showcase um, what I heard for this band and what I heard for Johnny. And so it, it really, um, it's a special song for me. And uh, I hope it's a special song for you, and I hope you had fun mixing it, and let me know if you have questions. And, um, you know, Johnny's voice is so interesting, and it, it requires a lot of love. So, um, you know, we can get into it whenever y'all are ready. Killer, let's kill it. Okay, um, so let's go through the chain. When it comes to vocals, so we've got, we've got our lay of the land here. What I wanted to go over real quick was the fact that I don't double everything and some producers do that they double verses they double choruses and and i really don't prefer to do that uh, because you lose character i want the sadness i want that um the inflections which are hard to do doubles of sometimes and so the chorus is doubled and um harmonies are doubled like think obvious things octaves are doubled things like that but the primary vocal is the primary vocal and there's just some things that are, you're just never going to be able to to do like that and you'll lose character i don't want to force it so I'll show you kind of the way that I handle the lead vocal and the effects that I like to use that I'm that I'm really stoked on. So um, let's just get into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute all the vocals, all the effects, and then just kind of let you hear what I got going on under the hood. So let's do let's do the verse vocal. Down, keep me on the ground from the ones who I thought they would never leave. Immediately, I like a bright, crisp, pop-style vocal. And so um, I filter out the lows, and I take out mids. I take out around 1K. I really don't like that frequency in vocals. I don't like that warm vocal. I like a crisp vocal. And so I've got some 4, 4 to 5K boosted. I've got some air in it. So this is really all about I want to hear the crying coming out of his voice. And you can hear it. It's Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. Okay, next up, do not be afraid of compression. I like to squash vocals. So listen to what's going on here. And it's, and it's already being compressed on the way in. I used a Manly Ref Cardioid going into a Shadow Hills Pre, I think it's a Gamma. And then I went into an 1176 straight into Pro Tools. Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. So you can see I'm I'm hitting it pretty hard, but it's you're not hearing it do a bunch of crazy stuff because of the fast attack and fast release. Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith? Who gave you so much power? You turned it all against me. I could hear his vocal all day. I don't know about you guys, but um, great. another thing is my favorite de-esser on the planet is the Pro Tools one, the free one. 
It is so good. And so you hear there's like a wisp. And when you make a vocal brighter, guess what? You're going to get this. You're going to get that syllabus, which is going to kind of like when you put on headphones, it's going to like kind of kill your ears and cause some fatigue. So I like the stock setting at 7K. And the range is all about the singer. So with him, I didn't do a whole lot of it. Kick me when I'm down. Keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith? Who gave you so much power? Because he kind of has a slight lisp, you don't need a ton of de-essing. He almost de-essed himself, but it does feel great. And it's like this extra layer of compression that I just love. This, this plugin is just, ah, it's just great. I love it. Kick me when I'm down. Keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith? Who gave you so much power? So, surface level sounds great. Obviously, it's right up the middle and it's bone dry. Let's get it wet, babies. First up is reverb. I like to use the UAD 140 plate. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but for anyone who uh, wasn't there, I like the UAD stuff. I love the plate. I think, I think a, a plate is a great vocal reverb. Kick me when I'm down. Keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith. How much reverb you put on is up to you. So my sends, I send unity gain, and all of my levels come from the return, which are these little guys right here. Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave, who gave you so much faith. So next up, I like to use this little slap echo. It's almost like, it, it's more of a thickener. It, I, it's almost like a doubler. And the way that I use it, I'll show you it really, really loud, but I use Echo Boy, and it's on 16th note triplets, which is very much like a slap. If you, if you uh, put that into terms of like time, you're like 56 milliseconds, which is like borderline comb filtering, but uh, it's not. So let's go back to here. Kick me when I'm down. Keep me on the ground From the ones who I thought they would never leave Really cool trick to get your vocal nice and thick without adding like phasing and choruses and like and doublers and this is just like a really natural way to do this Kick me when I'm down Keep me on the ground The, the amount of level is purely to taste Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. All these delays. So um, I call this Echo Pro because it was an old delay unit I had from Line 6 that was called an Echo Pro. They obviously I have the mix all the way and I took a lot of the highs out of it. Kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground feel it. I don't really want you to hear it. So I'm taking a, some top end off and I'm also adding some reverb to kind of like soak it up a little so you're not hearing it so direct because it's not supposed to be like a word repeat or anything. From the same send, I'm also doing a quarter note delay, which is, you're never going to believe this, but it's a quarter note. And kick me when I'm down, keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith? Who That's where you start adding the depth and the space in. And so I'm going to ride these depending on the, the part of the song. Kick me when I'm down. Keep me on the ground. From the ones who I thought they would never leave. Who gave you so much faith? So much power. You turned it all against me. It's the first time, but you're gone, you're gone, you're gone tonight. I've been alive, like it's the first time. Never gonna be a part of me this time. Hey, Eric. 
Um, do you think you could uh, bypass and unbypass the vocal EQ a few times? Sure. Yeah. It's just like it removes the blanket a little. Yep, takes the blanket off uh, and just really adds. It, it makes me understand the lyric better. And at the end of the day, if you don't understand the lyric, what are you, what are you even doing? It's like, don't. So make it all about the vocal, and so I make it crisp and clear. So now I'm just gonna kind of lay out other parts of the song. Let's get the leads going. I know you're writing me off. I know your boy's gonna count me out. You think I'm gonna let you down? So uh, the double, I like to pan a little bit off to the right. It really, from 10 to 15, really depends. Depends where I land. It's it's not that important. And I didn't DS this. Um, but sometimes I do, and I'm just gonna do it to all of them. I probably just took it off when I was prepping the session. Someone was wondering if you always put EQ prior to compression on vocals. I do. I do, because it's part of taking the harsh stuff away. So, so I like to go, yeah, I like um, pre-compression EQ on vocals.